Hello guys, welcome to my channel Taxi Tricks. Today we will be making a MD5 cracker which is based on PHP as a backend in web application part. So let's get started on this. So first of all I want to clarify what MD5 is. MD5 is basically a one way hash function which is used to produce digest of certain strings or files. So let me just show you in the Google about MD5. MD5 is a message digest algorithm which is used for verification purposes and it's a cryptographic hash function and it is also one way function which produces 128 bit hash values. So it is generally used in many areas like for storing passwords, hashed passwords because we don't store passwords directly in uh, the databases. So we generally hash them using this MD5 algorithm. There are various hashing algorithms like SHA-1, SHA-6, MD5 and all. So today we will be making an MD5 cracker, a web application with PHP. And the front end part will be HTML, CSS and we can use JavaScript but it's up to you. So I won't be using JavaScript but let's make it and as you can see I have set up the project here. The first part is hash.php which will be the fr front end part containing HTML and CSS. The back end part which will be the logic.php which are all empty since we will code it live. The logic.php will contain the back end part which will be used for processing and cracking purposes. And here also I have a password.txt which contains a huge number of passwords common passwords that are used by people like password123456, dragon, baseball, football and everything. So these are the common passwords. We will be making a cracker in PHP. So let's get started. Okay. So first of all we will be coding the front end part. The back means the front part using HTML. So let's start. We will first start with the HTML tag and we are using Atom here which is a really powerful and very useful uh, text editor. You can use any like sublime text or notepad++ but I really love Atom. So here after typing the HTML the Atom editor provided us with a backbone structure of how a web page would look like. It contains HTML the head tags, the body tag and the closing HTML tag which also contain the meta, meta encoding also. So let's start. The title we can provide MD5 cracker or hash cracker. Let's make it hash cracker. Okay, hash cracker as a title. Now we will be making the further part of adding the CSS. So as you know or as you don't know, the generally bootstrap is also used to make responsive mobile friendly web apps. So here we will be using bootstrap as well, which makes things little easier on our side. So we can add the bootstrap link, you know, since from the bootstrap website, you can copy the links which will be referred by our o website while rendering the whole front end template. We can add the bootstrap links. So. I have some quick links over here with me in the extra.txt so I will be providing all the links of the bootstrap and the meta cares and everything so we don't need to worry about that. We can add some meta character as well as meta tags. Let's copy it over here and add it to the website. Okay the meta has been added now we can add the bootstrap links. These are some of the style sheet bootstrap links and some of the Google APIs link. You need to download them. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I have added the bootstrap links. See, as you can see, link relation style sheet href, which provides a hyperlink. And this is the website or this is the URL the bootstrap is linking to. Okay, this, uh, okay, I want to tell you that I am running the local host from the XAMPP server. You can download XAMPP server or AMP server. So, in the XAMPP, you have to 
start the apache server which is the main backend server that will be hosting our website you can i don't need mysql for now i can stop it i was using it previously so the apache is up and running and to see where it is running you you can do google chrome and type local host and who you can add a hash cracker your hash cracking i'm just writing the description over here comparing it with stored common passwords so you will know what i'm actually doing hash cracking to hash cracking the compared to the stored common passwords sorry for the little interruption guys so now we will be visualizing how the p looks like so i've saved the file and i can go back here and refresh the page and it's the same as we can see i have added a description which is the hash cracker is a tool for hashing and cracking for hash cracking by compiling stored common passwords so now we can start taking user input by using the form tag now we will be using form tag of the html the one best thing about atom is it provides all the pre needed things automatically you don't need to type each and every word it automatically fills it up and it's really useful at times so form class we don't need class over here so we can delete this part action here yeah, action is needed since action specifies this form action specifies what happens when we submit the form which is what happens when we actually submit the form and it goes to the back end so which thing will really handle this request so we will be providing over here the logic.php logic.php since logic.php is the back end file which will handle the form action over here so we put logic.php okay now it's done method is post there are two types of methods get and post get is not secure for taking uh, user inputs like username passwords and all since it will be appearing in the url section method post method is actually secure and is recommended okay so first we have written the form over here now we can just make a little entry section and value what value you need to show over there we really don't need any values since the value will be showing in the whole input section so let's leave it out we can add the line break now let's add a button button type button but let's make it submit we will make submit button name is equal to button class and it's on leave it on just it's fine let's make it submit provide the tag and let's see what we have made Uh, let's see okay it's looking pretty nice so this is the user input section where we can input over here and goes to .php i can see over here but we haven't written anything so it's not actually responding to our request post request so here this is a section which really inputs the hash you user have to input the hash and for cracking purpose that hash will be given to the backend server which is logic.php logic.php and the logic that we write over here will be handling the uh, the hash and the hash will be cracked here itself okay so our front end part is almost done or we can say it's completely done almost so now we can head back to the backend part the logic.php and write our php code over here okay so let's start with the php code with the php tag this is the php opening and closing tag okay that's fine now it's let's let me tell you something here the names the name tag is very important over here since the name is the only variable which actually contains the name of the actual variable that is being passed over here since the input tag which sends this hash is recognized in the back end using this name tag so hash hash will be the variable that we will be taking as an input in the back end so let's first make a variable name in here we will be taking the hash this hash when the user submits it then this hash variable 
will come over here in the back end and get submitted in this hash variable okay and we have to enter the semicolon okay now this is the variable that came in now just for a precaution some users can input the hash in uh, small letters or in capital letters or in combination to both we actually need to sanitize the input so let's keep it all small so for that we need to again take the same variable hash so this hash variable is sent over here and it will convert the variable to all lower letters lowercase letters and then store it in again the same variable hash so it, here we have all small uh, lowercase letters of the hash uh, format okay now this is done now the main task is opening this password.txt since we will be making a cracker using this password.txt you can create your own passwords from online databases there are lots and thousands and thousands of common passwords available in github and everywhere you can copy those and make your own password.txt so i make i have made my own password.txt which approximately contains 500 passwords so now let's open the password.txt in our logic.php file so for that we will be making a variable password.txt okay it's fine over here now we will be providing the mode mode means the reading mode writing mode we will be reading the passwords so let's make it reading mode after that we will iterate through all the passwords from the password.txt until the end of the file is reached so we will write the the logic for taking the user input sorry not the user input the input from the password.txt file itself so let's provide the logic we will making a if con instant if loop if condition so f gets will handle and we will check if it is not equal to false since since actually if it reaches the end of the file then it will return false we have to check it that the line variable doesn't reach the end of the file so the while loop will actually iterate through all the passwords sequentially hash line which will hash each of the passwords this the passwords present over here needs to be hashed as well since we need to compare both the hashes so this password string is will be converted to md5 hash and then it will be compared with the user hash so that is the, that is the main logic behind this so this hash line will take each of the passwords and it will hash them repeatedly so this hash line will be provided with inbuilt md5 function in the php which will provide the md5 hash of the given string and we also need to trim it since we don't want white spaces and all and we will be providing the line variable hash line has been done now we will be compare if the hash line which is the user hash this hash is the user hash and this hash line is the actually the password hashes that we take from password.txt and we will repeatedly run this until the while loop ends if the if loop is successful and triple equals to is actually a php uh, logical variable which is used for comparing both the values as well as their types i hope you know this and if this both of these are equal then we have got our hash or password echo and echo is actually printing the variable echo password now we will echo the password we did it a yeah. and even we can add a br tag over here we can actually add html tags inside the echo and again echo now here we will echo the actual password whose hash has been matched with our own hash Yeah, that's fine. Now let's concatenate it with the actual string which got hash, which is line. Since line was the original password, 
which got matched with the user password or user hash and after this we can generally add let's see the indentation the file closing and opening and it's fine and if the handle is not working properly this handle variable which is a file opening then we can just uh, provide an else statement st statement saying that there is an error in file opening or something error file error file opening okay so this is the whole logic backend logic that has been written over here i hope you understand it well it's not that complicated we'll go to our main website which is hash.php and provide the hash for submitting to the backend and actually test that our hash cracker is working or not so here we need to provide the hash as a user input and for starters we can provide hashes from databases or any crack files so we need our own hash using md5 hash data so let's provide a string so for actually comparing let's provide a word from our own password dictionary so let's take boomba for example so let's go back to generator and provide boomba over here generate then at md5 hash for the given will provide hash cracker and if the word is actually present in our password.txt then it will return us the provided password that we were searching for so let's go to md5 hash generator and it is generating hash for us it's a quite a while yeah hash is ready so this is hash for the given word boomer will copy the hash and get the user input to our application and submit if it will really work yeah voila it worked password has been cracked and the cracked string is boomer so i hope you understand what was the logic behind it since we already had the word boomer in our password.txt which were the common passwords so if we provide the hash of the boomer in our generator it will auto for the hashes in our backend and return the word which will be matched with the given string so this is how you make hash cracker md5 hash cracker using php as backend thank you